Hi YouTube, I uh, want to introduce to you my new Oliver typewriter. It's actually not new, it was made in 1917, but it's my new acquisition. And it's an Oliver number 9. And it's uh, got a cover on it that I made, instead of that big metal thing that they have for them originally. So let me remove the cover. It's got little magnets on the side to keep it firmly attached. So I'll remove it here. Okay, first thing is when you're operating this, make sure that this is up on there because your keys on the right won't, will not work. Now on some of these, they, they kind of flop forward. I don't know if that's a problem or not or if it's supposed to. Mine's doesn't. Mine's is firmly attached. Uh, a lot of these number nines, people are wondering if they type in two colors. Well, this one doesn't have the color selector over here that some of them have. But it still can type in two colors. According to the Oliver uh, typewriter manual that I read, if you slide this forward or back, it'll it'll push the uh, the vibrator more uh, further up so that you can type on the red portion. Obviously, since I have a an ink uh, ribbon, that's not a factor. But uh, that's how you do it. You slide it forward or back. And uh, back, obviously, is the top half of the ribbon. Forward will be the bottom half of the ribbon. Uh, in order to get this loose, I have to use a lot of uh, penetrating grease and turn it counterclockwise uh, very delicately until I was able to loosen it enough where I can move it because it was completely frozen, you know, for about 100 years. Uh, this was, when I first got it, the carriage was working, but the uh, carriage string broke in two or three pieces right right in my hand as I tried to uh, remove the the carriage so as you can see it was very old and was never tampered with so I, I since then of course removed the carriage strings and replaced it with one of my own since now it's working perfectly now a lot of times it's very confusing but you can actually select the uh, spacing on the um, on the machine by going over here let me turn on a light so you can see oops all right so here here you have some spacing on there and let's see if I could focus it just right here this tab over here would allow you to space it and if you look down here it's kind of hard to see but down here in this area there's numbers that you can just barely make out one two and three and when you push on there when you push on that let's see okay When you push on that, like that, it should give you the uh, the spacing on there. So that's how that works. See it? One, two, and there's a three there. Right there. You see how that? What I'm doing is I'm pulling back on this like this. When you pull back on it, the whole thing moves. See if I can move this lever out the way. Uh, pull back on it and it moves. From one to two. One. That's one right there. Two and three. Not sure if I can see the three. Yeah, it just barely make out the three. But uh, anyhow, yeah, that's one, and that's two. But I'm sure you can see it if you get your machine ready. But um, anyhow, so this is my machine. Uh, note about the uh, the ribbon caps here. There is a company that makes 3D printing of them. All you got to do is do a search on Google, and you'll find it. They do an excellent job. It fits perfectly. 
Uh, only thing is, if you're going to buy ribbons and they're plastic, they come in plastic, uh, you know, rolls, kind of like, you know, the regular ribbons, they're not going to fit in there. You need the wooden ones with the clasp or make your own in order for the, uh, the ribbon and everything to fit in there. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to close it and you're going to have to keep those caps off of it. So I'd rather keep it as original as possible. So uh, this is it. Everything seems to be working fine. I don't have any issues with it. Works perfectly. Um, I've cleaned it up quite a bit. This was dirty and grungy. Took me hours to clean that. Still needs a lot of cleaning, but um, you really got to be careful when you're cleaning that you don't damage it because that's like the biggest issues with this, with this machine that uh, you can easily damage it while you're cleaning. If the labels go silver or if you see... Uh, let's say like on eBay you see a machine with the silver labels you know it's been cleaned and somebody just cleaned the gold off of it which is not good so you want to try to preserve it if you run into an accident where you accidentally damage the labels uh, there are still companies out there or people that will sell you the decals original decals that you can put back in there but that's a learning curve in itself it's not easy to put them on you got to have a surgeon's hand to put them on there. They're really delicate. Took me two or three tries to get it right because these things are so fragile. So you really got to be careful and you got to read the instructions. It's not something that you can easily do in a few minutes. You just got to lock yourself up in a room and shut the phone off and don't have any, any distractions because if you do, you're going to mess them up and your money's down the drain. So uh, another thing is... This little metal tab right here, little metal tab right here, that's for your fig and your caps, caps cap. And uh, you got another one over here that locks it just like any other machine. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, if you want to set your right margin, this little, this little dealie over here. This is how you set it. You push it and you slide it. Let me see if I can get this thing to stay there. Let's see. You push it and you slide it. This metal thing right there. Push it and you slide it. And that gives you the margins for the right hand side. Now for the left, you use this one right here. It kind of flips back and then you can pull it out well if it flips this way and then you can pull it out and push it back in I'm already forgetting some of these things but uh yeah and to remove the carriage you have to let's see if we can get this thing over here you have to press this make it go ding and then you press on the right button. You got to be pressing this and the right button at the same time in order to release the carriage. I don't want to do it because I'm holding the phone with one hand. It's a real pain in the ass. So, uh, yep, that's about it. Any questions, email me. I'll try to answer as best I can. Thank you.